good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new custom slash pickup slash custom belt. I mean, we got a lot of stuff going on here today. And the reason I'm uploading so late today is because I was finishing up some of this stuff and also because I thought my Elite 81 was going to arrive. It may still arrive. It's just not here right now. And if it arrives, then the reviews will start tomorrow. And if they don't arrive till tomorrow, I guess I'll put up the, the next review tomorrow later or I guess the next... I don't know, man. I, I You guys know that I'm always behind. But anyways, guys, here today we do have some brand new customs. We got some custom belts in the house, and we have uh, we have some pickups and stuff that I want to get through. But let's go ahead and start off with the custom figure because I'm super excited about it, guys. I just posted it on Instagram. If you already got it, you, you guys already saw it. Here it is. We have the Legend Series. I think, is it Legend Series 8? I believe it's Legend Series 8. We have the Legend Series 8 Eddie Guerrero. You guys can see the difference here. You have the black version, which is the regular version, and then we have the, uh, you know, the custom right here, which is a pink fantasy attire Eddie Guerrero figure, and it's already got a ton of great positive feedback on Instagram. I would love to know what your guys' thoughts are down in the comment section below. But pretty much all I did was take my paint and I just painted on all the tights here and covered all the black in pink. That's pretty much it. There's nothing much to it. I literally just took what was black on these tights and I painted over it in pink so you guys can see like the teal, the navy, and the lime green and orange coming through on the pink tights. Now I will say I noticed that like on these tights they actually filled in some of the black parts with the wrong color so the flames aren't totally accurate and they kind of get messed up a little bit. Not a huge deal, but it is something that I wanted to mention in the video if you guys have noticed it on your Legends Eddie Guerrero. But nonetheless, I would love to know what you guys think of it down below. I like all the paint going on. I thought about, you know, taking the elbow pads off. Again, they're, they're easily removable, so that's nothing too, too, you know, crazy or anything like that. But let me know down below if I should take the elbow pads off. I also thought about putting bigger arms on him. I just don't know. I feel like the, uh, the Alberto Del Rio arms are just way too big. I feel like he needs, like, the John Cena mold. And honestly, the skin tone is probably too dark for Eddie Guerrero anyway. He was more of like a, I feel like his skin tone was more of an olive color, not really like a sandy color. But you know, I don't I don't mind these arms. These are the same arms we use for Seth Rollins. These are the same arms we get on a lot of different guys. And you know, it, it's, the arms isn't a huge deal. And so, uh, there's Eddie Guerrero, guys. But you guys can let me know what you think of that down below. I feel like these tights designs, the, the colors actually worked out good. So like the lime green and the blue and the orange and everything really tied in nicely. So replacing the black with pink really went on solid. If you guys are wondering what paint I used, I will go ahead and grab that real quick so you guys can see and I can explain it. I, I have plenty of tutorial videos on paints and stuff on the channel, but I do want to get into that real quick. So if you guys were wondering, I use this model color. Model colors are really good paint to use when painting on these action figures because it's already pretty thinned out. You guys know that I like to make a water palette sometimes and thin out the paint a little bit more with some water, but Citadel Air and then model color, you don't typically have to thin it out. I mean, I guess you could if you wanted to paint on more layers and get it a little bit cleaner. It's not a perfect custom as far as, you know, cleanliness is concerned, but I think it turned out pretty solid. So again, let me know what you think of that down below and if you guys like that better than the original but I told you guys I was going to make a pink attire Eddie Guerrero and there it is. Now next up guys we have some custom championships and these are actually not completely finished which we'll get into but as we pull it up right here these are some commission championships and I want to show these off because I worked hard on them. They're not again they're not completely done. I think I have to paint. You'll notice the backs of a lot of them are completely white and that's because he wanted like a design or a color on the back so before you dive into that guys if you know every championship that we get from Mattel is black on the back pretty much unless it's based in a different color like the white intercontinental or whatever but these were world tag titles and I did paint the back of them white so that we can put on another color but you guys can see here it's a WWF uh, tag team championship for his pick fed you got the silver and gold going on you got the WWF logo on there and I pretty much just sealed it up with a nice shiny material you will notice that the white is edging on the side here I am going to clean that up with black but on the back I went ahead and painted the full thing in white and I'm going to add another color I'm not sure what color I'm going to do yet you guys can let me know what you think would look cool. I thought of my, maybe a gray color, maybe like a light gray on the back here, and then uh, I think that'd tie in nicely to the championship. And then I thought about yellow, but yellow's a really nightmarish paint to paint on top of black especially, so that's why I laid down the white base coat for any other color that follows, and we will edge it up with the black so that it cleans it up a lot better. But there are your two tag team championships. Here's the other one, white on the back and then that right there. If you guys are wondering what paint I used for the white on the strap, it was Citadel Air. So it was this paint right here, and this is the best paint you can use, guys. This, this paint right here. This is my favorite paint to use. You don't have to thin it out. It's already ready to go. And so yeah, I just I put this down in there. I pretty much just shake it up, open it up, and go right out of the bottle. It works out perfectly. It's freaking amazing. Next up, guys, we do have this like extreme slash hardcore championship. And this one's really cool. He wanted to use the Smoking Skull as the base title here. And you guys can see, if we get up in here, you guys can see it says Heavyweight Champion. So I guess, you know, from far away, you're not going to be able to notice that it says hard, or that it says Heavyweight Champion. But you got the red going through with the gold. You got the skull 
skull in black with red coming out of the eyes, like the smoky stuff coming out of the eyes. We have some like silver barbed wire going around the skull, and then you have these X designs on the sides, and then we do have some red on the side plates. I thought it turned out nice. I like the way it looks. I was really pleased with it. I think originally the, the title belt was silver, but I think the gold separates it, especially since you have heavyweight champion and this silver barbed wire and stuff. I really think that the gold stands out and the silver just pops off of the championship. So really enjoyed this one. I think this was probably my favorite. This one's either my favorite or it's my second favorite. We'll get into the next one right here. And this is a take on the U.S. championship. And this is the Norwegian championship because the guy that commissioned this is from Norway. And he wanted this title belt on a white strap. So I painted that up today. It's not completely finished. I do need to seal up the strap row here, right here. But you do have WWF, Norwegian champion. You got the red. You got the navy right there. I think that's the Norway flag back there. I could be mistaken, but I'm just guessing that that's the case. For the side plates, I went ahead and left the blue and red on there. And I just added a little bit more red here. I added some red to the other side plates. And it's kind of funny because on the side plates, it does have the Statue of Liberty for the United States. But I think when you paint it red, you know, who's even care? Who cares? It looks good anyway. I like the way it looks. And you guys can let me know what you think down below. But it is the Norwegian Championship right there. And I think it looks clean. I think it went on nice. Again, same Citadel Air paint. I didn't want to put a ton of paint on the, on the pegs right here because when you put a lot of paint on the pegs, they get like stuck and they'll get real sticky when they go through the holes over here. And you don't want that issue. You'll ruin your championship. So there's the Norwegian Championship up next to our Smoking Skull Championship or our, our Hardcore Championship. And then this is his main title, which is uh, not finished yet. I was too busy painting straps and getting all that clean. But here is the back of the title. Again, he wanted a design on the back of this. So I am working on that as well. Took me way longer than I expected, guys. Again, when you're covering that black, adding all those white layers on layers on layers on layers takes a ton out of you. And it takes a lot of time to do. But I'm working on putting all the words right here and filling it in. I took off the WCW at the top. And then we did add this globe logo here bigger and we're still working on this it's not completely done but it is very very close to being finished this is his main championship this is the two-pack wcw united states championship so there is all those championships you guys can let me know down below what you guys think about those so we have that custom eddie guerrero we have the custom championships and also i wanted to show off these belts which these belts are from our buddy hellfire designs i'll pull up his instagram on the page there but this one is one that i really wanted to take a look at so this one's really cool guys if you guys know this is a paper championship and you can pretty much seal it up with velcro and this is the rated R championship that he designed himself and then I think Edge even shared it. This may have even been the first, I think he said that this is the first render image of the of the rated R championship before it came on WWE TV or something like that. But Hellfire Designs is very talented and you guys can see here the rated R logos. I think Edge even shared this on his social media and it's really cool. I like the Velcro. It's very clean. Like it's not sticky at all. It feels really, really nice. And of course you can Velcro this and go ahead and mash that together right there. Very, very easily dude oh my god like if you if you guys are not into like i think this is a very inexpensive way to get custom championships and i did want to see what this looked like on the edge figure right here so i wanted to put this on the edge right there and yeah dude that looks pretty sick so i think he even does custom orders so you guys can see here we have the wwe championship we have the universal championship we have the women's uh smackdown women's championship so if you guys want to get some custom belts i think he can even do custom designs himself like if you have if you have a design you want to do or you have a design that's custom made you can send it to him and I think he can make your belt. So definitely look into that, guys. That is something that I would most definitely look into if you're interested in something like that. But these are very high quality. Out of like paper belts and custom belts I've seen, these are definitely some of the higher quality I've ever seen, especially with the red backing. It just feels super clean. Like it feels like a, like, uh, I don't know, like this was made in a factory or something. It's just very quality. Damn, these are nice. And I'm I'm usually not one for paper championships, but Jesus, man, these are really high quality. You guys know if I, I don't put my name to something unless I believe in it. So this is, this is definitely true high quality stuff if you're looking for a paper custom championship and it looks really really good very happy with these but not only do we have the custom belts guys we have our custom belts our custom eddie our other custom belts but we also got some pre-orders that finally fulfilled if you guys don't know what i'm talking about uh forever ago i'm talking months and months ago walmart posted up the aew figures for pre-order and they finally arrived yesterday so i put these here because i was going to put the the figures you know the custom belts on there but i blew it but i finally got my pre-orders it took forever but I finally got my Chris Jericho, my Kenny Omega, and my Cody Rhodes from Walmart.com. I will never, ever, ever order or pre-order anything from Walmart.com ever again. So I have my AEW series here. I was going to keep a mock. I'm still thinking about it. We'll see about that. But Chris Jericho, Kenny Omega, and Cody Rhodes are right here. They look really good. I don't have any wonky head sculpts or anything with eye misprints and stuff. So that's really interesting. And I'm very happy with that. Like, God, I didn't want to see that happen. I also got um, two more of the Legends Eddie Guerrero. So the reason, if you're wondering why the hell do you have four Eddie Guerrero,
Guerreros, Brad? Well, the reason is because when these first went up for pre-order, I pre-ordered two of them because I wanted to have two of them for surgery and things of that nature for fix-ups. But then you guys know when me and John went to Target, we found these things. And so uh, I went ahead and grabbed, uh, wait a minute, I'm trying to think. He grabbed me one of the Eddie Guerreros. I think I went ahead and ordered one because I was sick of Target. And then I think a day or two after I had ordered one, John found these at our local Target. So I went ahead and grabbed them there. I had my one that I ordered. And then my pre-order finally shipped before I could cancel. And now I have four Eddie Guerreros. So I'll probably do an, uh, I'll probably do a giveaway for one of these on my Instagram, guys. So definitely get in on that one that goes up. I'm not entirely sure about it just yet. I think I'm probably going to keep one mock or I may do some more customs and fix-ups with the other. But I think that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy all the custom belts and the pickups and stuff. For our, for our random shout-out for today, guys, let's go ahead and get into that. So for this comment, guys, I want to give a huge shout-out to T underscore the powerful mobile. He says, MDT shows who he chooses as the best comment. Me, my damn failure all over again. So you don't have to fail today, Brad, because you got the shout-out, and I think that's funny. I like comical posts. You know, the comical ones get me because I, I love humor. I love comedy. And so I, I look for, for good jokes and good outside-the-box thinking. And sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just choose a nice comment. Sometimes I choose a random comment, man. So you never truly know who's going to get the football shout-out. But I really appreciate you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Huge shout-out to Mobile for that comment. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.